when programming the modems SPI flash and people always ask how I make this device uh, I have the 12 volt in and then I have this two wires to connect the 3.3 volt or even I can adjust it so people want to know if they can make one uh, because using other source of 3.3 uh, volt even from Ulink NT is not recommended because sometimes it draws a lot of power and the some TTL modules just simply cannot pr provide enough juice to work on it. So today I'm going to give you some uh, solutions that can be very cheap and you need some some module here. So first you need a adapter like this and this is uh, this is 13 volt uh, one 1.3 amps but you can have like three 12 volt and one point some amps that should be you know bigger than one amp is, is suggested and also you can get these very affordable modules uh, this is called buck uh, step down buck converter and this is another one which has a, a better better display so the way to do this is you just open it and this module has the input and output. So input, you, you can cut, uh, I'm going to cut here. So let's, let's cut it. So I'm going to cut here. And then strip down the, so strip down. So I'm going to measure uh, which which is positive, which is negative. So this device shows 12.4 volt, and I believe it's not accurate. Uh, it says out or output. So let's check the input. What? So input is so it needs a little bit more turn to see the voltage start dropping. Okay, now it's seven, six. Four, three, and 3.3 .3 volt. Let's measure it. Just see uh, how accurate this thing is. And 3.39. I think it's good enough. So to be safe, we can go to 3.2 volt. Now with this module, okay. Now the output, you sh you just need some wires to go to the uh, SPI chip. But this module is is quite affordable, and you can have um, buy several of these. Like I I got a second of here. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the other one, which is fancy. It has the display of the power as well as the amperage. Uh, by the way, I'm going to use the same uh, 13 volt supply here.
So this shows output is 5 volt, which is out of factory. Let's see, this is input. So input is 13.3 volt. And output is 5 volt. So we can adjust house like this. Or let's see if we can adjust by this arm. This is on off. So oh so it has a switch here so you can turn the output off and still have the input there. So output is off, output is on. Okay. Instead of this adjustment, we can use this adjustment, which is be much, much act more accurate. So let's go to 3.3 volt. And this is voltage we're going to use. So let's hook up the uh, modem and see what's the uh, amperage it can draw from here. Here is how this is connected. And I have the output from here to 3.3 volt to here and then connect it draws 375 milliamps uh, by the way this one is just the maximum of the current supported so in this case we need to be a little bit tweak to allow it to draw more otherwise the voltage will drop when i start trying to connect it so let's go ahead on the computer and see how we can use it this is the module with the uh current display uh, it currently is set to 3.3 volt with 425 milliamps it's connect to the sb6121 and we can try to detect and then we can read it um, in my setup here i do not need to adjust the clock i'm using the maximum 18 megahertz uh, clock and it's reading at about one meg per second so let's verify twice see if it works Good, we have, we have one power supply. I'm going to try the other power supply now. So now I'm connecting to this cheap uh, power supply with current setting as 3.2 volt and I don't know the amperage. So let's see if we can detect. It's still detect and let's see if we can read it. Again, it's on three, a USB 3 port. So it's reading around, around one meg and it can read as well so for everybody you can get a very cheap like one dollar or two dollars power supply and it's it can last a long long time for you and try not to use the cheap like ttl three point volt as the power supply to program the spi chip 